Um, Olga Betts and we're on my front lawn and um, we're practicing rabbit agility. Um, we run the rabbits through their courses and people watch and enjoy the show. It's kind of like super dog show, only not quite as noisy. Rabbits are nice and quiet. We started it because we wanted to show that rabbits aren't just things that sit in cages. And uh, we all, I, I run Vancouver Rabbit Rescue and Advocacy, so it was kind of a natural thing. We use some of the bunnies from the shelter and some people have their own bunnies. It's more similar to a horse probably than a dog because dogs do agility. But they generally do things for treats and are very excitable, whereas horses and rabbits do it because they've learned and because they know what you want them to do because you could not make a horse or a rabbit jump if it didn't want to. Horses can't vomit or burp and neither can rabbits, so they can't bring up blockages or gas. And both horses and rabbits can die from those conditions. And they have similar teeth. Rabbits' teeth often will need um, grinding down their molars as they get older. Or sometimes they're born with bad teeth. I bet horses are similar in that way, so it's they're kind of like little horses. There was one on the uh, web that was doing um, what do they call that, where they run up the wall and jump onto the shelf? You remember that rabbit on the web that did that? It was astounding. The shelf was up a good 10 feet or so. Yeah, and it, it, just like they do in those like ninja movies, right? It ran up the wall and on the shelf, and I didn't know rabbits could do that. If you actually get a rabbit and get to know it and really live with a rabbit, you will be amazed. Because so many people just get them and put them in a cage and they don't really do very much with them. They just you know, either look at them or throw the food in there, or maybe they let them out to run a bit, but they don't pay much attention to them. But it's, uh, they're amazing little critters, they really are.